Morning guys, Mark Fresh with ProTech Dog Training. Getting up early in the morning to let the dogs go out to the bathroom. I just let out uh, one puppy and walked him out. We got a whole house full of dogs, so that being the case, I've got to kind of come in waves and try to not to wake up the neighbors. So I took out uh, Buddy first and I have Joker that walks out. And I'm kind of accenting uh, strong dog, weak dog. You got puppies. And a lot of times having a mentor, and I've talked about this before, is real important. And um, so I use Joker. I put him in the holding pen so I can... Come on, let's go. Come on, Joker. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Easy. Easy. Good boy. I'm getting Joker more and more used to it. Nailing him and making him understand he's got to be good with the puppies. And it's something you've got to be careful with and watch. And some dogs are a lot better than others. And he's getting a little bit more comfortable all the time. When you can bring this out in a dog, some dogs, like I said, are better than others. But if you have a good, strong dog... And you have a dog that can to emulate the things like he's doing right now. Come on, baby. Hey, she took off on him. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. He's just playing. He's just playing. Come on, Joker. Come on. Let's go. Go, Joker. You be easy. Stop that stuff. He's kind of doing it on purpose because he senses her insecurity. So um, keep in mind, she's only about 13 weeks old now. So um, in, a, in a big sense, a lot of times, quit. You be easy. Um, I'll go out and I'll do a lot of uh, travel type stuff where we go out to uh, the river and that kind of thing and I'm exercising the dogs. I used to do this a lot when I had the resource available to me where I was, I was close to the river and, uh, and I would use those nice deep sand pits to do a lot of running with the ball and a lot of exercise. You guys used to see me do that if you followed me for any length of time. But um, it's all about the resources I have available. <laughs> Now I'm up the high desert. I'm way out, stretched away from uh, civilization a lot more. I don't have as much access to uh, environmental as I'd like. So I have to travel 30, 40 minutes to even get to a, a really good hub where I can work things. Good dog, good. But um, these are all little tidbits of things that you guys can use if you have a strong dog when you're raising a puppy. Puppy development is what we're talking about here because the dogs learn from each other. If you have a weak dog, if you have a dog that's afraid of things and always uh, are scared, then that behavior will be denoted to the younger dog and the dog will pick up on it and they will be a lot the same way. Okay, so you don't want a weak dog with a weak dog. You know, an adult weak dog and you're taking your puppy out, that's going to imprint to your puppy. It's important, okay? Environment is important. Joker, come. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Environment is important, okay? So, and then being able to read the dog's body language. Like right then I'm talking to you guys, and I really didn't catch that she was uh, showing insecurity and that he was romping like he was to kind of scare her. And so I wouldn't really want that to, to happen. Uh, but at the same time, not, not going to be a... a a game changer or, or break anything. I mean, she's already bouncing back, so this is what you want. You be easy, Joker. You be easy. And uh, he'll get better and better at it. And then I love it when I have a real strong... I used to, Maury used to be really good at it. Uh, if you guys remember Maury, he uh, went to Texas as an executive protection dog. But Maury was excellent with my puppies. And Joker's a little bit stiffer. And I've got to be careful with it. But he'll get better and better. You be easy. You be easy. Good boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. There it is right there. You see if you caught that. You saw the body language that was being involved with that. I had to work that way through it. So my concentration was on him a lot better that time. Instead of sitting here and trying to fight this camera that I've got in my hand. Um, so keep it in mind. when you're, you're, You've got to read your animal. And I've... Uh, I've accented how an important relationship is with your dogs. And when I have a dog come in, I spend two or three days with that dog. And I, I build relationship more than anything else. Okay. And the relationship, Joker, come. You come here. I don't care. And we've got a bitch in season on, on property. And so he's kind of acting stupid. So I've got to keep an eye on him. I want him out here to, to accent her growth. I don't want her. I excuse him going back and losing him. So I've, I've got him out here for a reason. So, um relationship and uh how you work your animal in that regards is important how you treat the animal what you do with the animal i was out with a bunch of guys yesterday and one of the trained guys has been around dogs for a lot of years and he was noticing that i do a lot of vocal and he was accenting that it's a lot of times better that you don't do and i had to agree you know i'm not perfect i'm a human being like anybody else um 
and I have a tendency to hold my dogs up a little bit more with a lot of support with my voice and body language and and I put too much into it sometimes sometimes you just gotta lay back and let the dog just kind of learn and grow on their own so to you that was talking to me yesterday thank you very much I won't mention names but uh, we appreciate the feedback sometimes it's hard to take this you've been doing dogs for so many years and you don't get around to other people that have done the same thing and been around it as much as you have so you you think you know everything you know it's, it's important that you always realize there's always different sides of the fishbowl different perspectives you can learn from everybody and you never stop learning you never stop growing you know you have to be able to so step back and be able to see the forest for the trees so to speak and and be able to always be willing to have an open mind to learn and grow and realize that you <laughs> that you never stop and this is good this is great good boy joker good you be easy good and he actually stopped and went out of his way to do that he's stiff like i said you can see his body language a little stiff and i've got to be real careful because i don't want him uh, you be easy joker you'll be easy i have to talk him into this and as i go along he'll get better and better at dealing with the puppies you be easy you be easy with that baby that's just a baby joker good boy that's just a baby good boy all right let's go come on let's go that you be easy good boy good so I don't want the dog outright dominating the other dog, especially when they're this young. It's an impressionable thing. And it's, you got to be careful. A lot of times, like I said, I, I kind of I push on boundaries that most people wouldn't be able to do. And if you do, you have an accident. That dog, if Joker went off on her and, and she went, yeah, 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 it would not be a good thing. I would not be a happy camper. So you got to be real careful. This stuff is real touchy. And uh, be a lot of high concentration sometimes to be able to stay on top of it you can't just be oblivious and smoking a cigarette and, and having coffee or even like what i'm doing right now splitting my brain trying to deal with this camera and talking to you guys it takes me away from my uh my concentration level where i've am a lot more in tune with the animal when i don't have this camera in my hand so i'll talk to you later have a good day we're starting our day of dogs at 6 37 in the morning and it doesn't stop until about 10 o'clock at night um 10 or 11 so as i told you seven seven days a week 365 days a year, this is what I do. Eat, breathe, and sleep dogs. So I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.